everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It. I post my Will I Buy It series every single Wednesday where I'm talking over new makeup releases, my thoughts on them, and if I'm planning to pick them up or if I'm going to pass over them. I do always have a lot to chat about in these videos. My playlist will be linked down below as well as the community playlist in case you want to see more creators making this style of video. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. And a couple things I want to say before we jump into the new releases. I am filming this on a Friday uh, because of the Christmas holiday. I will be out of town until Tuesday, so I would not have enough time to film, edit, and upload for my usual AM upload. So I'm filming on a Friday, so in case things pop out over the weekend and you're curious why they were not included in here, it's because this was uh, pre-filmed farther in advance than I usually film my videos. I'm also going to be having a little giveaway in this video, so stay tuned for that. I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, but uh, jumping into it, so I feel like I just must have totally missed this release and I'm kind of bummed about it. I was having some technical issues happening the last few days this last week here I actually had to go buy a new laptop so I don't know I feel like I missed a lot of videos and I feel like I even missed like some Instagram posts just because I was so invested in getting a new laptop and all of that uh, but Huda Beauty has released a new product so I'm like okay how did I miss this these are the Melted Shadows the Matte and Metal Collection I typically read from the Trend Mid One Instagram so I do always have her linked in my description box so it says it's a dual ended bottle with two different formulas. At one end is a richly pigmented velvety matte shade and the other is a glittering shimmer formula with a complementary shade. I'm so intrigued by this. It's a $25 each. So there is five different shades that you can get and it will be available December 26th and you can also find Huda Beauty at Sephora. So I'm super intrigued by these. I was watching a video from Babs Beauty this morning and she was using one and I was like, what? I'm just so intrigued by these. So, I mean, she looked like she had a pretty decent time with them. It's such a different product to me. Like, I mean, it's liquid eyeshadows, which that isn't super different, but to have more of a matte cream liquid on one side and then a shimmering color, I don't know. I might pick one of these up just to try it because I'm I'm just very curious about these. Has anyone else tried these or seen other people, you know, maybe getting them in PR that was trying them out? I think I would try it. I think that I would try it. But yeah, I, I just thought that was interesting. So um, yeah, I'm definitely curious about those. Now I did get quite a few tags on some eyeshadow palettes. I feel like I have to scroll so far up because that was like old news. Uh, but I got some tags on these palettes from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. This is the Trilogy Collection. It says each palette includes four shades with different finishes and these are $24.99 each or you can buy the bundle for $67. Now, I have not tried anything from Pinky Rose Cosmetics, and I'm not super familiar with the brand, so um, I love when I make the style of videos to hear your feedback. What have you gotten from them? How is the ordering gone? What are you thinking of these? These all look to be very colorful eyeshadow palettes, greens and purples and yellows and hot pinks. Um, they all look very beautiful. I don't think I would get them for myself right now. I definitely have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I just filmed and uploaded my high-end eyeshadow palette to Clutter, so I will have that down below. Um, but I, I, so I don't think I need any right now. And none of the color stories really, like, all speak to me. Like, there's pretty shades in each one, but, um, I get a little bit overwhelmed just with my mega preferences. Um, probably not totally for me, but I'd love to know your feedback on Pinky Rose Cosmetics and if you are thinking about getting those uh, eyeshadow palettes. We have some new releases from Milk Makeup. I thought this was interesting. They're coming out with face masks and also eye patches. So we have the Watermelon Brightening Face Mask, which is $24. It's a solid clay mask stick to brighten, hydrate, and even skin tone. Milk Makeup is kind of known for their stick products, the blur stick and all of that. Um, so to me it makes sense that these are also in stick form and then we have the matcha detoxifying face mask for $24 again a solid clay mask stick to control oil balance skin and calm redness um, for the sticks I probably would not get the watermelon stick honestly I'm not a big fan of clay masks I don't use them a lot in my routine uh, but from milk makeup they came out with a watermelon serum stick and I tried that and I had a pretty bad reaction to it so um, that just kind of makes me want to skip over this one and then for the matcha detoxifying face mask it sounds like it's good for people with oily skin or you know maybe some redness and I don't have either of those issues so it wouldn't be a good buy for me and then they also are coming out with the cooling water patch 
patches. Um, it's $22 for six pairs, and they're, these are depuffing gel patches packed with energizing caffeine and soothing seawater. Everything will be available on December 26th. I would be most interested in trying out the eye patches, but it's not a release that I feel like I have to run out and buy right away. I actually do have quite a bit. Um, I really like the Patchology under eye masks, and I wear them quite a bit in the mornings and I still have a lot in my collection so I don't feel like I have to run out and grab this but out of everything that would be the most interesting thing to me uh, especially to hear like deep puffing because that's something that I really focus on um, for my under eye area but what do you think about these new releases from milk do you like the stick form are you not so into it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we actually have more skincare and I felt like last week there was a lot of skincare too and now it just seems like there's even more skincare happening so that's interesting uh, but from Ula Hendrickson, they are coming out with a new toner. This is the Glow O Dark Spot Toner. It says reduces the look of dark spots in as little as seven days. It also reduces the look of fine line and wrinkles, brighten and smooths, and adds an overall glow and radiance to the skin. You're supposed to use it at night because of the high potency AHAs. That's very interesting. Um, and this is going to be $28.00. Okay, so I like this on Trend Mood. It says, what is a toner and why do we need it? It says, toner is the 10 second secret step to glowing skin as the first step, as the first leave on step in your routine. Toner makes everything applied after perform better. This will also be available on December 26th. Okay, I, I have a toner in my collection. I actually just posted a skincare collection video as well or a skincare um, like routine video as well. I have dry skin, so I'm kind of focusing on my winter skincare routine, my dry skin essentials. So that will also be linked down below if you're interested. I use a toner from Fresh Beauty right now, their rose toner, and I really enjoy that. I don't know if I would get this one because, you know, kind of its big thing is about the dark spots. That's not something I necessarily deal with a lot, and I feel like everything else is kind of what I get in the toner that I use currently. I'm curious about the AHAs that are in there because that helps with skin tone and texture, which I am always, I like to have items in my collection that help with texture um, because if I don't, then I can get a lot of texture and I love highlighting. So when I have texture, it's, I mean, it's basically <laughs> the worst day ever, you know, what do you do? Uh, so that has me interested, but I just, I think that I have items in my collection that I would rather use and use up more than buying something new. The price I don't think is too bad on it, $28. I, Willa Hendrickson can get pretty pricier, so I kind of maybe was expecting this, I don't know, to be a little bit higher, so I don't mind the price, but I just think for what I need in my skincare routine, I wouldn't need to add this in, if that makes sense, but let us know, of course, what you are thinking about that. And then this is kind of some makeup news that the Beautylish Lucky Bags are going to be coming available soon. So uh, this says, inspired by the Japanese New Year tradition, it's a $75, $75 value of $150 or more with full-size products. Some bags contain extra prizes and are like extra special. This will be available December 26th online at Beautylish and there is early access. So I believe that you can sign up now to get on the like list so when they do become available you will get emailed to say like the bag is available like go ahead and purchase it um so basically it's just kind of like a mystery bag kind of what it says so you pay 75 dollars you will have at least 150 dollars worth of products in there but you don't know what it is it's you know obviously items that are found on the beautylish site from brands that are found on the beautylish site um you know so like higher end products which is great i actually did purchase one last year and Unfortunately, the timing was really, really bad for me, and I tried to explain this when I was doing my unboxing video as well because I just wasn't in a great headspace. I, you know, purchased the Beautylish Lucky Bag, and then, you know, a couple weeks later, you get it. In between the time of me buying it and me receiving it, my husband lost his job, and, you know, it was a very frantic time for a while of trying to figure out what we're doing. You know, can we still afford you know our bills much less I just bought $75 of makeup that I don't even know what it is you know it just I was not in a good headspace to be to you know it showed up in the mail and I was like wow that was that that was dumb and you know it it wasn't dumb that I did it at the time I just felt kind of silly after the fact of you know we're in this like full-on saving mode and all of that and I just bought $75 of makeup that I don't even know what it was. So it just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth for me personally and then I didn't love everything in my box. Um, I really didn't, 
I didn't really like a whole lot, which that's the that's the risk that you take with a mystery box. And I knew that going into it. And again, it just is because of what was happening in my personal life that was so stressful. That was really just all bad. So for me, I'm not going to go ahead and purchase one this year. I don't feel like I really got my $75 worth last year. And I don't even know if I ended up keeping anything from the bag. I just decluttered one of the Vizier eyeshadow palette that came in there. I decluttered that one and I gave most of everything else away. So it was kind of a bust for me. And again... I, I knew that going into it, that that very well could happen, um, but just because I, I wasn't super overjoyed with it, I just don't think I want to, and I still just, sometimes when I think of the Beautylish Lucky Bag, I still get this overwhelming, overwhelming feeling of like, that was a really bad time in life, <laughs> and I don't really care to think about it again. It's all good now. It's all good now. It's fine, and we're in a better place, and it's fantastic. It's been, you know, almost a full year now, so it's all good, but I'm probably... I'm not going to do that. But I'd love to know if you guys are going to. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I would love to know. It's just funny because with the Beautylish bags, like with the announcement coming out, people are finding my video from last year and commenting like, well, you're dumb because you knew it was a mystery bag. And I'm like, well, you're not listening to me. <laughs> like, I, I'm saying that in the video. I know. I know this. But this happened. So this is why I feel this way. You know. Next release, I think, is super interesting to me because this is kind of different. This is new releases from Kopari Beauty. This is the coconut charcoal toothpaste and then also the coconut toothpaste and I was like, tell me more. Interesting. It says to naturally restore enamel, whiten teeth, and freshen breath without any chemicals. It's a 100% natural minty flavored toothpaste, fluoride free with a clean alternative to help strengthen and repair enamel on teeth. Uh, it says this is $12 each. I'm kind of interested in this. I'm not gonna lie. If you guys follow me on Insta Stories or Twitter, you would know <laughs> that your girl just had a cavity and mm, that hurts. That hurts real bad. I haven't had a cavity in a couple years here and I had to go to the dentist and they were like, yeah, girl, you, you're gonna need to come back so we can fix that. And I was like, great. So I was asking for recommendations on different toothpaste and so many people wrote it and gave me recommendations and I appreciate it so much. I actually have a new one in my drawer right now, but I just have weak enamel on my teeth. I've always dealt with cavities and just like bad teeth in general. Um, so no matter what, flossing, brushing, whatever I tried to do to help my teeth, it just doesn't work because my enamel is just so weak. So I got a lot of good recommendations. Now I'm looking at this like, I kind of want to test out this toothpaste and see what I think. But I know that, you know, coconut and charcoal, I know that both of those are supposed to be really good for your teeth. So I'm not going to lie. I would totally try this out. What about you guys? This next one, when the tags started coming in, I was like, what is like, what am I, what am I looking at? This is from Stila. This is the shade Mystery, I don't know how you pronounce that to be honest, liquid eyeshadow. It's $24. It says a magically transformative liquid eyeshadow where two marbleized shades morph into one shimmering color flipping shade on the lids. Okay. Did you get that? I hope, I hope you got that because I'm not going to repeat myself. Okay. Um, so that's interesting. But then we also have the Highlighting Face Gloss for $28, a lightweight balm featuring three marbleized shades that combine to create a subtle, multi-dimensional, glossy colored sheen. I'm like, what? And I'm looking at the swatches of this, and I mean, it does, I mean, they all look very interesting. I don't know how I feel about it personally, and I said something on Twitter about the Highlighting Gloss specifically, like, how are we feeling about this? And a lot of people were like, you know so I don't really know I don't super interesting I like different I like different I think that's cool I think that for me personally I'm gonna have to see people use these and review them and see them in action and all of that before I decide what I'm gonna do but I like that it's different I like that a lot the highlighting gloss I really I don't see myself using that but like maybe the liquid eyeshadows I would I don't know how much use I would honestly get out of them, but I'm curious to start seeing the reviews. I don't know if Stila sends out a ton of PR because I feel like I don't see them a lot mentioned, but if they do, I mean, I'm definitely going to be watching some reviews of that, but what do you guys think? Would you try it? Would you? Alrighty, so next up, I thought this release was pretty interesting. This is from MAC Cosmetics. It's part of their holiday 2018 and it's a Nordstrom exclusive, but it is a collaboration between MAC and Kristen Dominique. So it says it's limited edition. It's $42.50. It's a $70 value and it includes her favorite items. So basically 
Kristen Dominique who's a YouTuber. She also owns uh, Dominique Cosmetics. And I was just using the Berries and Cream Eyeshadow Palette in a recent Sephora Try On Haul video. So she picked out her favorite items, which are two eyeshadows in Amber Lights and Brown Script, a lip liner in Spice, and a lipstick in Half and Half. And again, $42.50 for all that in a Nordstrom exclusive. I feel like MAC definitely does a lot of collaborations, like a lot of collaborations. And you know, they're a global brand, so they are collaborating with people from all over the world. And I... I feel like, at least for me, I can't recall a lot of just like favorite sets. You know, even I'm thinking about like the Mac and Patrick Star, that wasn't necessarily like a favorites, that was Mac, or that was Patrick, you know, coming up with products with Mac. So I don't know, I, I definitely could be wrong. You know, I haven't been in the YouTube game for, you know, as many years as a lot of people have. And, you know, always like it's quite this up to date on makeup. So you have to let us know if you can recall things in the past. But that's just kind of why I thought it was interesting. For me, I, w I won't be purchasing it. Um, I'm not super interested in like the single shadows. I, I have a lot of MAC lip liners. I'm actually wearing one today in Chestnut actually. And I also do have a lot of MAC lipstick. So it's just products that I don't think I need. Um, you know, of course, congratulations for Chris and Dominique to work with MAC. That's really cool. But I just don't think that it's anything that I necessarily need and I don't know sometimes I wish I don't, I don't know I just whenever I see new collaborations with Mac I'm just they just do a, a lot <laughs> you know they just do a lot okay so uh, moving on we have did you guys think that all the zodiac stuff is over did you did you think it was because oh no oh it's not who is who is ready for this? We have BH Cosmetics. They are coming out with the mini Zodiac collection, starting with Capricorn. This is a palette. It has nine shades of earth-toned mattes, shimmers, and one baked eyeshadow for $14. Every month, they're going to launch a new mini Zodiac palette based on the month's star sign. Okay, so we've seen this quite a bit. The Zodiac was really big, especially in 2019. A lot of you know, products and all of that coming out from brands and it's gonna, it's gonna keep going. It's going to keep going with BH. So I am an Aries. Um, so that's great. I'll, I'll be curious to see what the, the Aries comes out with. I'm thinking, you know, very fiery and orangey and on all of that. So I'll have to see what the Aries is. The Capricorn just, it doesn't really interest me at all. It's very neutral and I, I mean, I love very neutral looks. Don't get me wrong, but the sweater is just like so big. I can't decide how you're supposed to wear it yet. I just got it and I'm like, how do you wear this thing? Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't catch my attention enough. So I'll, I'll be curious who's a Capricorn who's planning to pick this up. Are you excited to see another kind of like year long Zodiac thing? You know, Bite Beauty just did this. That's kind of what most recently was popped into my head where every month they had the Star Signs lipstick shade coming out. So are you excited for this? Or are you like, okay, we need another trend? I don't mind it. I don't hate it, but I don't feel like there's going to be a lot that really interests me, to be honest. But I'll be curious to see. It's always interesting to see the designs that people come up with for the different um, Zodiac themes, you know? Okay, so like I said, I'm filming this on Friday. So, um, you know, I was getting my list ready last night, you know, going through everything and all the tags and, you know, deciding what I was going to put into this video. And as I was planning it, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have any ColourPop to talk about this week. And that is very surprising because I always have ColourPop to talk about, sometimes multiple releases from ColourPop to talk about, and I thought, man, what can I do? And so I wanted to put together a little giveaway and I have all ColourPop items because I thought that's how I could slide it in here, but uh, like an hour before I sat down to film, there was actually a new collaboration announced with ColourPop, so we have it in here, but I still wanted to include my ColourPop, my ColourPop giveaway just because I thought it was kind of funny. Um, so I've been trying to add in as many giveaways as I can throughout December just to say thank you to you guys. Thank you for the support in 2018. You know, it's holiday time and all of that. Um, so I've just been trying to give back with giveaways like every day, every other day um, on YouTube and over on my Instagram stories to people, you know, familiar names and faces and all of that. I had to cut back for a few days when my laptop issues were happening because I had to go buy a laptop and that's very expensive and I kind of like freaked out for a second there. But um, I'm back and I wanted to include one in this YouTube video and like I said, these are all ColourPop items. So I'm going to go through the prizes here. So I do have a palette. This is the Pretty Much palette and it is a really pretty palette with like very purpley shades. I think that it's super pretty so that is going to go into the giveaway. I also have some Super Shock eyeshadows here. So I have two Super Shocks from ColourPop. These are in Buzzin and also Threes A Cloud. 
reason clap. Alrighty then. I also have Between the Sheets. So this is a Super Shock blush. This was actually the first blush that I ever purchased from ColourPop. Like in my first ever ColourPop order. Not this one, of course. Whoa. also have some lip products here. So this one is one of the Lux lipsticks. This is in the shade 27. I have this one as well and it's a really nice kind of darker shade. I think that's really pretty. And then I have this cute little set here of lippy sticks. This is the Wildest Dream Mini Lippy Stick Collection. So one winner is going to win just this little ColourPop uh, bundle here. And, you know, just wanted to say thank you guys. So if you want to enter into the giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to my channel over here. Like this video. And then leave a, a comment. And then just put the hashtag SamSquad somewhere in your comment. Um, if you do not want to enter the giveaway, I'd love if you still left a comment. But if you want to enter into the giveaway, leave that hashtag that way I know that you are entering. My giveaways are open international um, and I'm leaving them open for about 24 or 48 hours and then I will just respond back to the comment letting you know that you are the winner and asking for your email address and then I will email you for your mailing address and send that out. So if you're interested in winning just leave that comment with the hashtag Sam Squad and thank you guys so much for the continued support over here on my channel and I just appreciate it so much. Okay so for what ColourPop launched here I saw that I Love Sarah E had posted a photo on Instagram and it just said like coming soon, 1226. And I was like, okay, so she's clearly doing another collaboration. What is she doing? She is teaming up with ColourPop again. I think this is her third time. Yes, third time that she's doing a collab with ColourPop. If you're not familiar with I Love Sarah E or Karen, um, I really enjoy her channel. I have a like private playlist and it just says like tutorials to try, I think is what I called it. And I save, you know, YouTube videos of makeup looks that I want to recreate. And she is, as of right now, she is the most in that playlist. She is the, you know what I'm saying. I have, have saved the most videos from her in the playlist of looks that I want to try. I really like a lot of the looks that she does and she just explains things really easily for me so I feel like I can I can really follow her along. So I really enjoy her. I've bought a lot from her collaborations. Bathe from Dose of Colors I think is beautiful. I have a couple of her lip products from um, her most recent ColourPop collaboration and then I have two of her eyeshadow palettes from her first ColourPop collaboration and I really like those as well. So I was curious to see what they were going to be coming out with. So they have the Through My Eyes eyeshadow palette which is $23. It has 16 shades. It's matte and shimmer. I can't say when I saw this palette I was like getting it. I love the ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I think their pressed palettes are so beautiful. I have a lot of favorites. Uh, I definitely did get some Dream Street vibes in here, um, which I feel like I say that a lot because it's just one of my favorite palettes, the Kathleen Lights ColourPop Dream Street palette. It's just one of my favorites, so it's really easy for me to be like, well, you know, I probably have a lot of those shades in, in my Dream Street. It also definitely reminded me of her Dose of Colors collaboration. That was a smaller palette. This one, I feel like they're, like we have a little bit of some repeat shades in there. Um, so, and I, I didn't buy that one. I just bought the highlight. No, I bought the highlight and two lipsticks in that dose um, collaboration. So, I'm pro I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna skip over the eyeshadow palette again. I have a lot of palettes going on right now, um, so I, I don't need it. But I wasn't like super pumped. I mean, it's very her, so that's good. You, you know, it's it's so hard because it's like one of those things where it's like, well, at least they're putting out, you know, what's true to them and what they like. But it's. Mm, eh. And then we have some lip products that bundle for $16 or you can buy them individually for $6 each. Looks like we have some matte lips, two matte lips, and then also a glossy lip. And I'll probably pass over these as well. Her ColourPop shade in Ariba is one of the most beautiful reds. I actually bought that one even though I'm not a huge fan of the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips or just kind of their matte and satin lips in general because I feel like the formula goes bad quicker. But that red is actually so freaking gorgeous. Um, and I also have some from her last collection as well, including a glossy lip. I just don't feel like I really need any of these. The nude, of course, is really pretty, but, you know, I just bought her lips with the Dose of Colors collab as well, so I just don't think I need anything from this collection. It looks pretty, but it's nothing, like, unique enough to me that I'm like, I'm gonna go out and grab you. I really do like her, and I know I, I'm seeing the comments of a lot of people just being like, please collab with someone else, and it's weird because I feel like I've seen ColourPop, like, on their Instagram and stuff, say often, like, we want to find new people. Who are your favorite? Because, you know, I get tagged on it, which is so exciting for me. I, I, Oh my gosh, I get so hyped whenever I see people comment my name when brands are saying, like, who's your favorite, you know, YouTuber? Who do you love watching? Or things like that. That's so cool. And I feel like ColourPop does that quite a bit. And then they... 
and then they collab with the same people. It's like, okay, I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. I'm sure that they're making them a lot of money, and this is all a business. I know that. I think a lot of us know that, but it would be nice to see some different people every once in a while. Uh, okay, anyways, moving on. Tell us what you're getting from the ColourPop collab, or if you're just not interested at all, and I hope that you will enter into the giveaway. Okay. Last thing, this also just got announced, uh, actually, as I was taking a break filming, I looked on the Trend Mood Instagram, and I had some tags over there, and I was like, well, hey, perfect. I'm going to slide this one right in. Alrighty, so we have a new mini palette from Natasha Denona. This is the new mini nude eyeshadow palette for the holidays. It's $25. I'm assuming because it says for the holidays, it's going to be limited edition, but I don't know that for sure. Um, $25 will be available December 26th, and it is going to be a Sephora exclusive. I hate to say that this one got my attention, but it really did. I mean, again, I've mentioned this in this video, and you guys know that I love neutrals, and I love, I love the shades that are in here. The Camel palette, I remember not really calling out to me. Like, I thought it was just a little bit too, like meh for for even me which is saying a lot but this one looks really pretty and actually kind of what i thought of when i looked at this one was actually the huda nude palette new nude palette or whatever she called that one that i really st like still eye and the last time that i had the coupon with sephora i had it in my cart for a while and i was like stop you don't need a, the 65 dollar big old eyeshadow palette what are you doing but it almost kind of reminds me of that one with these really beautiful shimmers in here i have the mini Sunset palette from Natasha Denona and I liked it just fine. I kept it in my high-end declutter that I just did. The mini Lila palette did cause me a reaction on my eyes, which that's not uncommon for me. I actually have a lot of palettes, both high-end and affordable, that can cause me to have eye irritation, so I did have to return that one. But I'm thinking it was probably, you know, maybe those purples. You know, a lot of times it's like the really deep purples or reds or you know things like that that can cause me to have eye irritation. So this one looks more nude. I might, I, I might, I'll think about it, you know, I'll think about it. What do you guys think about this one from Natasha? The only palettes that I will purchase right now from Natasha Denona are the mini $25 palettes, not like the five pan palettes that are still like $48 or something like that, not the $129 palettes and not like the palettes that are in the $200 range. I just cannot do that with an eyeshadow palette right now. So the only ones that I'll purchase are these 25 palettes and I think that this looks really pretty and it's probably something that I would get a lot of use out of. So I would definitely be considering that one. But after that, that is going to wrap it up for today's Will I Buy It video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing another video. Sorry if I was touching my hair a lot. I got these new extensions and they're so soft that I just can't like, mm, 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 I just want to keep touching them, you know. Uh, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's video. Make sure to get entered into that giveaway if you are interested in winning those ColourPop prizes. Uh, as always, let me know what you thought of all the products that I mentioned what you're thinking about them, what you're planning to get, what you are not interested in. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.